hi guys in this video I'm going to share a trick with you with Google Earth which is sometimes very useful um, time series analysis are really um, from, uh, you know well known in different applications and uh, one of the things that we can use Google Earth for is to do some kind of time series analysis um, you know having an overall uh, view about the changes in the landscape and I, in this regard I prepared three simple examples to share uh, about the things that we can do with Google Earth. In order to have the satellite imagery data of the previous uh, dates we can use this uh, you know show historical imagery and if you click on that we will be able to see the uh, picture and the satellite image of this region of any region uh, in different time scales and for example if I just go back to 20, uh, 2002 you will see that in this area we do not have any construction and it's just some kind of a, uh, you know, uh, hills that are not uh, being um, you know destroyed or has not changed but uh, after you know several years in 2006 it is almost no change but after uh, you know in the eight months of 20, 2009 you will see some changes in the landscape also if we just go forward and uh, you will see that in different times what has happened and finally We'll see that it, this area has been um, constructed for, you know, an, a, a complex has been constructed, and you will see that, you know, this kind of urban uh, infrastructure grows uh, during time. Also, we can use this for mining uh, and mineral exploration perspectives. For example, if uh, there is no documents uh, about uh, the activities in an area and we want some general information, this kind of time series analysis will be useful. I remember the time when I just participated in an exploration campaign in here. This is the Mishtovan iron ore mine uh, in central Iran. And uh, if you go back to 2006, you see no kind of mining activity. There's some kind of you know preliminary campaign uh, that is that maybe is not relative uh, not you know uh, related to the mining even but if we go a little forward you will see that the mining has been started and you will see some changes and when I just participated in the activity it was around I think uh, about uh, 20 uh, in fact 15 yeah 2015 in fact and if we have 24, uh, 2014 uh, satellite imagery picture in here and we see that I have been doing some kind of ge investigation, geophysical investigation in this area and we have detected some anomalies representative of the uh, iron ore mine, iron ore con continuity and you see that uh, we can see that the uh, growth of mine and you know the mine pit enlargement through time and we can see for example this kind of data would be uh, sometimes amazing to share uh, and use whenever there's limited uh, documents in about an area also so about some natural disasters there are some uh, relatively you know there are some new options that Google Earth is going to provide it is not available in this version that I'm just talking to you and, and this is the uh, Urmia Lake in the northwestern Iran and it has been in fact uh, endangered by a lot of you know uh, uh, undesirable phenomena for example extra uh, water pumping from the wells and um, construction of uh, a lot of dams all around the lake and you see in 1984 it, the size of the lake is like this and as we move forward there is relatively nine, no changes to the 1990s but when we come for example about 2000 
uh, it's relatively no change but if we move forward for example about 2009 you will see that the lake is just disappearing and 2010 and it's just very very uh, you know uh, it, it's, it feels really bad when you see these kind of events in the nature so you see that kind of a great big lake has been totally disappeared and it's very small so this is very simple but sometimes time series analysis will be very very useful uh, to get an overview about the activities that happened in an area.